hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video as you can see my hair is just all braided up i managed to do kind of like a box braid style on my natural hair so it took me about three three hours and i'm going to show you guys how i did it in this video the products that i use are from first of all the shea moisture leave-in conditioner which is included in my natural hair starter kit i'll leave the link for that down below and then also i use the edge wax from murray's just to sleek down the edges of the boxes and i'm probably going to leave it in for another three weeks if possible so i hope you enjoy this video let me know if you do this style as well and i'll catch you in the next video I don't know about you guys but I am really not feeling my natural hair during this lockdown. I've been doing a lot of protective styles and today I thought I would try out the box braids but natural on natural hair it's not perfect or no extensions added. So I'm just going to apply some of that Murray's Edge wax to my edges just to kind of soften them out and sleep them away from my forehead. I really want to make this as neat as possible but I also don't want to overdo it with the gel um, as I don't want the white flakes so I'm going to just apply this one time and not keep applying it throughout the week. So I thought the video would be well too long if I showed you all of my hair so half of my hair is done here and in total this took me about 3 hours, yes I know that's crazy, 3 hours. But I made sure that I separated them as small as I could possibly do in it without having to be doing my hair for longer than three hours. Sometimes when I get my box braids done by a stylist, it takes about eight hours. I was not ready for that. So I simply have added just one leave-in product, which is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castle Oil Leave-In. And I just braid all the way down. It's not a cane row, it's nothing too complicated. It's just a normal braid, as you can see here, three strands, and just go round and round and round each other. When you get near to the end, you may find that it's a bit drier. So I apply just a little bit more of the leave-in to those parts and continue to smooth through and braid. Your fingers will cramp up just a little bit, but when I'm telling you guys, it's worth it. So I add a bit of the wax again to the bottom of my ends of my hair and just curl them around my finger just to smoothen them out because the ends can be quite dry and frizzy. Now you do kind of want to start the braid as tight as possible at the root, but again, don't worry too much. This is just real simple i'm not going anywhere this is just something for me to wear around the house play some music as you can tell here i was enjoying myself because it is a long time that you're going to be doing your hair now as you can see this braid is much thicker just because it got to a point where i did not want to be spending any more time braiding my hair so i began to do thicker sections so if you want to do less time braiding definitely go for thicker braids Let me know down below in the comments what hairstyles you want me to try out next. I'm going to use this time to try out all the different kind of protective styles possible that I can do on my natural hair. And let me know guys how you're styling your hair during this lockdown period. So now I'm getting to, my hair guys is so thick so at this point I was doing thicker braids because I just could not deal with it at all. But I tried to make the thinner ones at the front just to keep it neat because th those are the parts that people are going to see obviously most often. <laughs> So again, I'm just dampening this part because it was quite dry. Love my oh so curly spray bottle. Doesn't let my hair get too, too wet, but it allows it to have moisture so that I can reconstruct that section of hair. As you can see, it's allowing me to braid easier and the curl is starting to come through. So I'm on the last braid here, guys. Nearly done. And we 
are done freshly braided up thank you for watching guys and i'll catch you in the next video